Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up data, uh, Google Data Studio. So first part of the video, I will show you how to retrieve data from uh, Xero to the Google Sheet. And I will take an example of uh, profit and loss report. Uh, and then I will automate the process and set up Google Studio. All right, let's do it. Uh, you will go to Extensions and select Gconfig Zero. Uh, reports, standard reports, and from down uh, uh, drop down box, you need to select profit and loss. I'm not going to go to details what each and every function, each and every filter means because we will have another videos for that. But I will focus only on needed fields. What we do need really, we need to change report layouts and report layout. Currently, by default, it's set up as a traditional, and we need to change it to historical. So I will change it here. I will keep uh, all uh, previous periods at 12, PNL for dynamic date range for current months. And the next step, what we have to do, we will uh, change pool settings. I will uncheck display report title. I will not need deep links to zero, and what I really need, I need headers, headers of my data. And then I will click Execute. So what it does, first, as all of you know, we create template, we save template or structure, and we retrieve data from zero. And on your screen, you can see how this data look like. So the most important to have headers and the rest uh, it's your data. So the next step is automate the process and then we will be done with retrieving your reports to Google Sheets. You go to Gconfig Zero, you will select automation, create workflow and you put any name you want to workflow. I will put workflow number one, I will put description you can see how I'm doing that. I will add template. In our case, it's only profit and loss reports. And I go to schedule. I will say my, my report needs to be refreshed daily. So I'll choose the frequency of refresh daily. And for example, I will select 2 a.m. Apply and execute. Okay. We are done this whole processes in uh, Google Sheets. Now we're going to move to Data Studio. So this is free application. So you will uh, type Google um, Google Data Studio, and you will pull application and open blank report. All right. So now what we have to do, we have to connect our Google Sheets and Data Google Studio. So you will uh, choose a Google Sheet connector, which will give you opportunity to pick up your uh, spreadsheet, select the uh, worksheet that you need. Let's double check. I do have profit and loss and my uh, worksheet name profit and loss. And then I will click on, to, uh, on the add button. All right. All right. So our next step is to create chart. For example, for example, we want to create a chart uh, revenue versus expenses for this period of time. As you can see on the right side, all our data and headers moved from Google Spreadsheet to Google Data Studio. So now I will add the chart and I will select this series. Later on you can change it. So I will double click. It will be selected. All right. So my chart will be here. All right. And now I'm going to set up my date range dimensions, my filters, my periods, whatever needed for you to build the proper graph. So in my case, 
I will use a uh, date range dimension as a period. I will change it a little bit. I will put months and year. And my type will be year, month. This is how my data look like. Then what I'm going to do, I don't really uh, need periods here. I need to pull type in my dimension. This is what I'm going to do. So you can see uh, type here. And in the record count, instead of default value, I need to push uh, amount. Right? And I will remove this type. All right, so basically I play around this different type of charts and I feel this one what I'm looking for. So now what you have here, you have a date range dimension as a month year like we set up, a breakdown dimension we pull type from, my, uh, from our data, then breakdown dimension so we put amount all right and we put some of this and now you can see we have everything in our graph expenses revenue uh, different uh, type of expenses direct cost other income so what i'm going to do i want to see for example only expense and revenue how i'm going to do that i will use filters here so I will click on Add Filter, and I will include in my filtering uh, field, which is uh, type, and I will say the type in my case should be equal to revenue, and I will not do any spelling mistake. This is my first condition, or I would like to have the type which is equal, I select type, which is equal to expense. Expense. All right, this filter is ready. I will do save, and you will see how my graph will be changed. So this is my expense, expenses versus revenue graph. All right, so this is ready. So what else I can add to my uh, to my page. I can say this is profit and loss. I can put the name profit and loss and I will change the uh, font size. I will put it bold. I will change it to uh, maybe 40 pixels. Yeah, looks nice. All right. And another formula which is I would like to show you is uh, how to create total revenues or total expenses. So what you're going to do, it's very nice tool which is, has a lot of built-in functionality. So I open at a chart and I select total and that's it. This is my total, uh, total amount and I will place it nicely somewhere here. And now it's time to change it, to change condition. So instead of, I highlight this field, which is allowing me to edit. So instead of sum, I will put uh, total revenue, total revenue. And you will see moment I change here, your um, headers get changed. And I will put the condition. I add condition, click on create a new filter button, and I will put name, total revenue, and what my condition should be. <laughs> so I include in a type, and my type should be equals to revenue, because this is what I want to have. I save it. So basically, if you can see now, the number has been changed, and now you can change style. You can highlight and see, I want to 
have it a little bit bigger as a my total maybe I'm going to I click again so it will allow me to edit style I can move to a different color as soon as I find it we will have different color and uh, maybe different style so I can put it this style for example right so that's pretty much the way how you build your dashboard so now to view your dashboard you click on the view button and this is what your customer can see it's pretty good right you have different data you have different graphs you will have different periods but this is a nutshell how to create data studio graphs tables and um, uh, and uh, presentation layer and as a final what i'm going to do i'm going to show you what can be done uh, here definitely i spent a little bit more time but this is what your final result can be if you click on the view this is you can send to your client customers team and you have <coughs> very nice presentation layer so in a nutshell so first to summarize our video we set up google data studio uh, we specify historical layout for profit and loss we connect to uh, google data studio software which is absolutely free and then you build any uh, dashboards graphs reports formula anything that you need uh, for your uh, business uh, thank you for watching us uh, you have a wonderful day